I am going to discuss on the topic multifaceted role of vasopressin and oxytocin. Both vasopressin and oxytocin are the octopeptide hormone and they are formed in the cell bodies of the neurons located in the supraoptic and paraventricular nuclei of the hypothalamus. The first one, <clears throat> vasopressin, it is also known as pitrocin, antidiuretic hormone. And it's a modes of actions uh, basically stimulates reabsorption of water by the distal convoluted tubule and collecting renal tubule and thus regulates urine volume. The action of antidiuretic hormone may be due to an increase of enzyme hyaluronidase in the renal tubules and thus increase the permeability of the intercellular ground substance. Antidiuretic hormone increases the concentration of cyclic adenosine monophosphate in the renal epithelium and its antidiuretic action mediated through cyclic adenosine monophosphate. It reduces chloride absorption and increases chloride loss. It acts directly on the muscles independent of nerves. It causes contraction of all plain muscles of the body, excepting those that in heart and uterus. With a high dose level of the vasopressin, acts on blood vessels and blood pressures as a constriction of arterioles, capillaries, and thus raise the blood pressure. Heart rate is reflex reduced due to high blood pressure. Coronary vessels are also constricted. And occasional apnea occurs due to changes in the blood pressure. In kidney, due to renal vasoconstriction, urine volume is reduced. On plain muscles, muscular walls of the urinary bladder and ureter are stimulated. Intestinal muscles contact and movements of stomach, large and small intestine are also increased. And high dose of vasopressin that produces glycogenolysis, hyperglycemia, and glycosuria. Sugar tolerance is also reduced. And when antidiuretic hormone secreted too little that may caused by compulsory water drinking or low blood serum osmolality. That is the concentration of particles in your blood. A rare water metabolism disorder that is known as diabetes insipidus, and that is the cause of antidiuretic hormone deficiency. The signs and symptoms induce excessive urination that is a polyuria. And that is followed by extreme thirst condition, that is polydipsia. And people with diabetes insipidus are often extremely tired because their sleep is frequently interrupted by the need of urination. Their urine is clear, orderless, and has an abnormally low concentration of particles. Diabetes insipidus can be due to neurogenic, nephrogenic, or psychogenic. Uh, neurogenic diabetes insipidus, that is a result from lessons in the hypothalamus, and patients have high urine volume and low urinary osmolality. Production of dilute copious volume of urine occurs. Antidiuretic hormone administration decreases urine volume and increases urinary osmolality. Then next category, nephrogenic diabetes insipidus, that is a furnaces normal antidiuretic hormone production, but normal renal ADH effect is absent. Administered ADH has no effect on urine flow rate or concentration. And the last one, psychogenic diabetes insipidus. Patients are compulsive water drinker. If water is withheld, urine volume decreases and urine osmolality increases. ADH has beneficial effect in such condition. And what are the differences between diabetes <coughs> mellitus and diabetes insipidus? Uh, you know that the diabetes uh, mellitus, that is a uh, sugar diabetes, whereas the diabetes insipidus, that is a water diabetes. It is a sweet urine in case of the diabetes mellitus, whereas the diabetes insipidus, that's an insipid urine, that's a pale urine. Uh, in case of the diabetes mellitus, insulin that is secreted from the islet of Langerhans of the pancreas, that is a lacking, so the glucose utilization, glucose metabolism does not proper way. Whereas the diabetes insipidus, 
that is actually produce uh, antidiuretic hormone that is produced from the adrenal hypophysis, then it is stored uh, in the herring body of the pituitary and that uh, regulates the body's water resistance. And what are the similarity in case of the diabetes, mellitus and insipidus? Excessive thrust, but uh, thrust condition is more in case of insipidus. And <clears throat> both dependent on hormones uh, for controlling uh, such in cases. Actually, diabetes mellitus, meli mean honey or sweet, whereas the insipid mean tasteless. And what are the symptoms in case of the diabetes mellitus? Uh, passing excessive switch urine, whereas the passing excessive taste less in urine. And I have already mentioned that a diabetes mellitus occurs due to deficiency of the insulin hormone, whereas the diabetes insipidus, uh, that is a deficiency or resistance of antidiuretic hormone that is secreted from the, <clears throat> I don't know, uh, pituitary and ultimately they are uh, secreted from the neurohypophysis uh, portion. And another uh, effect, uh, physical aging, that is also caused by the vasopressin. Uh, so many uh, symptoms uh, that occur, sunken eyes, crow feet, uh, winkless, sharp winkless, uh, vasopressin and aldosterone deficiency that uh, occurs and tongue with uh, different types of the identifications uh, that is uh, so here sir, due to vasopressin deficiency. And another syndrome of inappropriate antidiuretic hormone that is caused by excessive secretion of the ADH, often due to some varieties of cancer, especially lung cancer, the cancer cells secret excessive ADH. Now, oxytocin, it is also known as pitocin. Oxys means swift and tocos means childbirth. Oxytocin is a neurotransmitter and a hormone that is produced in the hypothalamus. From there, it is transported to and secreted by the pituitary gland at the base of the brain. It is referred as cordial hormone or love hormone because level of oxytocin increases during talking and orgasm. Those in new relationship have higher levels of the oxytocin hormone than do single individuals and females usually have higher levels in comparison to male. It's a Action uterus on virgin uterus, its uh, action is negligible. The action increases as pregnancy enhances and becomes maximum during labor. Oxytocin takes part in the onset of parturition, expulsion of the fetus and placenta. The effect persists to some extent during uh, the period between the childbirth and the return of the uterus to its normal uh, site, that is a uh, preparium. And then gradually dies out. Its action is inhibited by progesterone and increased by estrogen. On mammary gland, it causes uh, the contraction of myoepithelial cells around the mammary alveoli. The hormone is also responsible for maintaining the function of mammary gland by releasing prolactin from anterior pituitary. It produces hyperglycemia in large doses, especially in dogs. It facilitated the transport of the sperm in the female genital tract. Oxytocin uh, given in large doses and abandoned, in abandoned fluid volumes may cause water intoxication due to antidiuretic effect of oxytocin on the nephron. Oxytocin stimulates contraction of gallbladder, intestine, and urinary bladder. And <clears throat> oxytocin also impacts bonding behavior, creation of group memories, and social recognition. These are the reference books, Human Physiology, C.C. Chatterjee, Medical Physiology, EDAS, Essentials of Human Physiology, Art Suresh, Concise of Medical Physiology, S.K. Chodron. And some illustration that are mentioned in my presentation captured from the Google image. Thank you, everybody.